The driver of our simulator sits in a comfortable chair and uses Logitech game controls to drive the vehicle. Mounted in the ceiling above him are six projectors, and our warping and masking software combines their images to produce a single high-resolution display. Javier selects one of the vehicles in the garage and drives out onto the streets of San Francisco. The simulator is fun, but empty streets, or those containing only a few vehicles with pre-programmed routes, are less engaging for the driver than a real-life situation. Using a button on the steering wheel, Javier has turned on a new recording feature. This keeps track not only of his course and speed, but also of his use of controls such as the turn indicators. Our Logitech steering wheel doesn't actually have turn indicators, so we've used the gear change paddles, which are otherwise unnecessary for this simulation, and we've added a realistic clicking sound, such as is found in a typical car when the indicators are in use. A user driving in the same area on future occasions will see new vehicles following the course of earlier recordings. Suddenly, driving in the simulator becomes more engaging, even with just the single recording we're showing here. It feels as if there are real humans around you whose behaviour is unpredictable and they demand your attention. We've augmented this particular vehicle to show the brake lights and the turn indicators as they were used in the original recording which again adds to the realism. <laughs> 